you can divide the wall of the gastrointestinal tract into four basic layers. This upper layer here, which is the deepest layer, it lines the lumen, is the mucosa. And it begins right over here at the muscularis mucosae and extends all the way up here. And it can vary depending upon where in the gastrointestinal tract you're looking. This layer underneath the mucosa, which has large blood vessels, glands, lymphoid nodules, this region is referred to as the submucosa. The next layer over here, where you have smooth muscle, is the muscularis layer. And then finally over here we have a thin layer on the outside which is going to form the serosa. The mucosa begins right over here where you have the muscularis mucosae. If we look closely at the muscularis mucosae, you can see it consists of two thin layers of smooth muscle, a longitudinal and a circular layer. And this is the boundary between the mucosa, which is over here, and the submucosa, which is right over here. Here you can see the cells that form this simple columnar epithelium. There is more than one type of cell. The enterocytes are the most numerous pink-colored cells. And among the enterocytes, you have these cells which are producing mucus. And because of their appearance histologically, they're referred to as goblet cells. In the small intestines, one of the distinguishing features of the small intestines is the presence of these finger-like projections, which are called villi. So you can see three villi represented here, and here, and over here. They happen to be cut open. And then you see the surfaces of two more in the background. The mucosa has a connective tissue, which is always referred to as the lamina propria an important structure that you find within the villi of the small intestines is a lacteal. This is a lymphatic vessel. It has a blind end right over here. And the lacteal of the villi is going to absorb fat. Uh, you also see a larger arterial vessel here and a vein nearby. Now, in the next villus, the gray would simply represent connective tissue you see that there are some strands of smooth muscle, and this yellow line represents a nerve. These dots that you see around the smooth muscle fibers and near the nerve, these represent cells of the immune system like lymphocytes and macrophages and eosinophils that you might find in the lamina propria of the small intestines. You're basically seeing here a, a beta capillaries.